Today's video is sponsored by the letter A because I'm going to be showing you a way to prepare brisket. No, it's not going to be the way. You'll have to see that on somebody else's channel. This will be the modified version of the 4-2-10 method. And this is a great method for someone that wants to cook a great brisket, but they just don't want to dedicate their whole life to learning how to master it. So in other words, this is for the backyard cook. If you're a competition cook that's been working for 20 years to perfect your brisket, then this is probably not gonna be for you. If you're in a big hurry and you wanted it done yesterday, then maybe this won't be your first choice. But for everybody else, pay attention. Preheat your smoker to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm starting with the select grade brisket that I bought on sale. And as you can see, I paid less than $20 for this brisket. And a brisket like this will test any pit master because it's just plain old simply low quality. Open it up, dry it off with paper towels, trim a little of the heavy fat, the silver skin, and then just shape it up a little. I'm using lid parents for the binder. Sprinkle on the seasoning of your choice, and I'm using my Blind Hog Barbecue Rub, and there's a link to that right up here. Start with the non-presentation side, and then we'll flip it over and do the presentation side. So don't forget to season around the edges. Press the seasoning in. This is going on the top shelf of my Yoder YS1500. The thick part of the brisket goes toward the heat source, and drip pans will be underneath the brisket to catch those drippings. We'll be smoking for four hours at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. When the four hours is up, check the brisket to see how it looks and then raise the temperature to 285 degrees for the next two hours. At the end of two hours, we're gonna wrap the brisket. Now the internal temperature is between 171 and 177 on mine, depending on where I insert that probe. Spread out two sheets of butcher paper, about 40 inches long, and then we're gonna coat a good part of that paper with the drippings from the drip pan. Wrap the brisket up in your butcher paper. It goes on top of a rack, and that's placed inside a large pan. I'm adding one bottle of water, and then cover the pan tightly with foil. So I'll be using my Cook Shack AmeriQ electric smoker for this part. It has much smaller temperature swings than the pellet smoker, and I don't want to burn any more pellets. Now on a normal 4210 brisket, the third step calls for 10 hours at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, but I'm going 10 hours at 190 degrees Fahrenheit. I found that a low quality brisket needs a higher temperature to properly break it down. Now the 10 hours is gonna be up for me at 2 a.m. And because of the late hour, I'll be lowering that temperature from 190 down to 150. That's a holding temperature and I'm going back to bed. Now the beautiful thing about this method is you don't have to catch it at a certain temperature in order to finish that brisket up. The 150 degree smoker temp is simply a holding temp. So I don't have to rush out early the next morning to save the brisket. I found that 8.30 the next morning, the internal temperature of my brisket was 151 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't need to rest it any longer. It's out of the danger zone, food temperature wise, and it's ready to slice. I like to take some of the au jus that's collected on that butcher paper, the drippies if you will, and then pour that over the sliced brisket. Now this brisket's got good bark. It's got a nice smoke ring and it's fork tender. You really don't even need a thermometer to cook this method as long as you know what your pit temperature is. Now I found from a previous video on the 4210 method that it upsets some people in the barbecue community. Why? Because the numbers just don't make sense. The maximum internal meat temperature for my cook was 181 degrees Fahrenheit. And normally briskets aren't finished up until they're somewhere around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The 4210 method may not be perfect for competition, but it's a great tool to keep in your barbecue repertoire. 181 degrees Fahrenheit and the brisket is fork tender. Now this is kind of a cookie cutter recipe deal, but it works. I could see that this 4210 method or version of it could be very useful to someone that's catering or cooking for a large event. You have a lot of leeway when it comes to presenting a brisket that's prepared this way. 
Now all you've got to do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Ha, 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 ha.